Hey guys, this is going to be my review for Diary of a Chef by Grace Dent. Part 1. Okay, so I'm going to read the summary off of the back of the book. It says, 16-year-old Shira's Bailey Woods days are filled with hoodies, hip-hop, and hanging around outside Claire's accessories. Her parents work crap jobs, and her school is pretty much Chef Central. There's not much going on in the world of this lovable dreamer, and having a brain and a heart of gold only makes it worse. Shira's loads, loads being called a shab because she may be poor, but she's not trashy. But she can't do much about it, yet. Shira's is beginning to feel there's a lot more to life than minimum wage in the bling of a souped-up Baxhall Nova. Told in diary entries over the course of a year attending the unfortunately named Super, Super Chav Academy, where she'll do anything to prove she's not a chav, Shira's insanely funny voice and spirited narrative so there is always a way to rise above any obstacle. Part 2 Okay, so this book wasn't exactly my favorite. Um, I didn't really like it. Like, first, the book is about a British teenager, and I live in America, so there's, like, there was only, like, five words, I think, in the glossary. In the, the published copy will have, like, a full 12 to 16 pages, it says, but... Um, I didn't really get a lot of the stuff because it's like British slang. So it would have been nice if I could have understood that a little more. Um, Steph actually said from Reviewer X in the comments on my actual blog post, she said to use Urban Dictionary. But I actually didn't know they existed until she told me. So next time I get a book like this, I'll have to um, look at that and see if that would help me. But the other thing I didn't like about this book was that it didn't really get interesting until towards the end, like the last four or five diary entries, I would say. It kind of just dragged up until then because nothing, like, really happened. And so I kind of just kept reading it because I was on vacation and really had nothing better to do with my time. So that's really why I actually even finished it. Um, so... The third thing that I really didn't like about it was that um, on the back of the book, which I read to you, it said that she'd do anything to prove that she wasn't a chav at her school, but she didn't really do much. I mean, in the school, she tried to hide the fact that she was actually doing her work because she didn't want her friends to call her a suck-up, and um, she kind of just went with the flow. Like, she didn't really do anything to change. And she, um, she wants to go to college, but the only person she tells is her grandmother. And she doesn't, like, tell her family or anything or her friends because she thinks it'll, like, have an effect on what they think about her. And, um, another thing is she dresses, like, all the shabs, like, in the hoodies, in the, um, hoop earrings. Which, if she goes to, like, that kind of school and lives around that kind of, those kind of people, I can see why. But she, um, could have at least, like, tried to change a little more because the back of the book is kind of misleading. And then, um, the back of the book also says that she, she has had a funny voice and spirit narrative. Um, I actually thought from reading that that it was going to be funnier than it really was. So, it wasn't really funny. It just kind of dragged on until the end when they went on the one TV show. So, um, as you can probably tell, I didn't really like the book too much. Um, I wouldn't recommend you go out and buy it when it's hardcover because, honestly, in my opinion, I think it would be a waste of your money. But if you really want to still read it, um, I would wait for the soft cover version to come out or get it from your library when it comes out in October. Part 3 I gave Diary of a Share by Grace Stent 2 out of 5 hearts. Part 4 Sorry, no quotes today. I had an A or C. On a little side note here, um, there's still time to enter the um, Twilight video. Just send me or Chelsea from read, 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 and email filling in the sentence, I'm addicted to Twilight, 
because, and then just fill it in. And um, we're planning on making a collaborative video that will be posted on this channel when it's done. Um, don't know when that'll be, but yeah. So, what do you think about the haircut? I just got it done. I don't know. So, let me know. And I'll see y'all later. Bye.